So, I don't know about you guys, but when I thought of Europe, I envisioned castles, tight cobblestone streets, and beautiful water. Well, check this out. Beautiful blue water, tight cobblestone streets, castles. Guys, look who's back in action. Madge is here. She just flew in today and uh, now she's joining me and the boys for the rest of the Europe trip. We've moved on from Azores, as an amazing trip as it was, we're here now in mainland Portugal. And hey, today we're gonna do a vlog. Uh, the last couple episodes, as you guys have seen, has been that film blend style. I've been loving making those. It's been super refreshing, but ready to do a vlog again. I kind of like the idea of bouncing between the two. Anyways, we're exploring today, exploring our new home. Cause yes, like I said, we're off the island life and now me and Mia are exploring the streets of uh, this, this, this new town we're in. It looks beautiful. Try to experience the city life a little bit. Not normally our cup of tea, but we thought it'd be cool experience to try and uh, see what's going on. Let's go see what this little town has to offer. Maybe get some food, some coffee, just explore, live it up. And then maybe later we'll go find some waves or something. I don't know. Do you think the UV is high right now? Mia just got here today, but I've been here for a couple days with the guys settling in. And there's birds that are just out of control next level. I don't know if it's like a European style bird, but these things, not like the animal bird, the scooter. They're next level, super power juiced. Freaking drift on them in the whole bit. Me and me are gonna strap up. I'm gonna uh, scan this thing. We're gonna go for a little tour around the town. Grab a bite to eat. Live it up in Europe, cause we're here. And we got one chance. Get on the back, gonna hold on. Deutschland forever. Uh oh, get ready. Stair step. This is gonna be a particularly interesting experience because Mia, it's her first time in, in Europe, right? It is, but it doesn't feel like I'm here yet. Why is that? I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah, see, you don't see that in the mainland. How yeah. sick is that? Oh, oh, look at yeah. this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This is crazy. Wait, oh my God. We need to go. Oh my gosh. We just found like the sickest hidden swimming spot ever. We just pulled in some back rows off our bird. Look at this place. Oh my God, man. Look at these rocks and the palm trees and the turquoise water. These guys are savages. It's a little warmer than the Oregon coast here and these guys are in boardies. Good thing those look like drift lines to me. He's probably keeping up real warm. By the way, Drift Line's new shorts just dropped and you gotta go get them. Description below, I'm telling you. Let's keep this tour going. <laughs> no. <laughs> I drifted it too hard. <laughs> So, I don't know about you guys, but when I thought of Europe, I envisioned castles, tight cobblestone streets, beautiful water. Well, check this out. Beautiful blue water, tight cobblestone streets, castles. This is fucking cool. First impressions on Europe. I love it. This is all I could ever dream of. I'm in Europe with my girlfriend and my best friends making videos. Sometimes it's moments like these that put your life into perspective. I'm very, very lucky right now. I feel very grateful. We are living the dream, baby. <gasps> I'm gonna freaking poop my pants. Oh my God. <laughs> Jackson! Holy shit, Madge. Jackson! Oh my god, look at the water color. I don't care how cold it is. Well, you have to get in there. What? Look, there's stuff in the water too. Oh my god, that is so crazy. <laughs> okay, we just parked the birds after a nice little jaunt through the city, but the, the weather has done a complete 180. It's all gray and pouring. Just a second ago, it was sunny and beautiful. Now we're sprinting to go find some food. Let's go have our first European food experience together. See if we can find some proper grub. This place is really cool. It's got a lot of rad restaurants and stuff, so I think we're gonna find something pretty good. We're just walking around, seeing what we see, doing what we do. 
Wow, look at this zone. Cool little street we're just strolling into here. Check it out. The road is so cool. Oh my God, they have cheese bread. Oh, I bet you their shit is good. What? It's like cheesy bread. There's a huge picture of a cheesy bread all the way back. It's like the golden aisle to the treasure at the end. Hello, how's it going? This looks really, really good. Yeah, it's got fish cake. Oh, it's fish. It's fish? fish? Yeah, it's very traditional like you're in Bartlett. I feel like we have to try it. Wow. Perfect, thank you so much. There you are. Thank, thank you, take so care guys. Care. They're like glorifying these fish cakes, they're called. We just got one. We'll see if it's awful or if it's great, but the point is, is that apparently it's a very traditional meal around these parts. Oh, it looks really good. If that's fish, I want to throw up in my mouth, though. Let's <laughs> oh, pretend it's cheese. Oh, oh this God. is the fish. Yeah. Oh, it's stuffed with cheese. Yeah. Oh, that's probably really good. It's not bad. Uh-uh. Oh, boy. Not, you can tell it's fish. Me? You can tell it's fish. That's not bad. Are you kidding? I like cheese. Oh my god. That was so not. It tasted like. It tasted like the fishiest fish you ever had, like with cheese. It just tastes like a fish steak that's not cooked. Oh, and it's soft. Well, that's no good. That's not good. You don't want that. Oh my god, and it's goat cheese too. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't my favorite thing ever, but yeah. it was an experience. Yeah, exactly. You always have yeah. to right? Yeah. Okay, we gotta, we gotta find a restaurant. I'll update you. I think we're going Italian. Let's see what we find. Oh my God, we found this little Italian restaurant. We just ordered food, and look at this. That's the fish cake. Gotta throw that thing across the damn country. Wow, perfect, thank you. Oh my god. Battery literally just died on the first bite. Food's insane. We'll pick this up in a little bit. Oh my god, it's absolutely mental. What a thing. Perfection. Guys, 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 what is going on? Whew. Okay, update on the food. It was amazing. In classic GoPro fashion, it died right when I was taking the first bite of that delicious pasta. I swear those things like die right when you get the best shot of your life. You're pulling into the first barrel, dead. You're about to do a sick turn on your skis or big air, dead. Boom, you go for the bite of a freaking first experience of Italian pasta, dead. Anyway, yeah, a bit of a different vlog this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really, really did. I filmed it all in an afternoon just yesterday as Mia arrived exploring with her in this in this new place that we're calling home for a bit. And I was editing it and thinking, man, maybe do I need some more action sports in here or uh, something that's a little more general to what I post. And I decided to not do it because I thought it was so pure and so real and so exciting to just watch our natural reactions as we just unveiled what lied beyond each corner of this town. I thought it was really cool and it was super, super fun. It was different, but it was really fun and I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Your support on the channel lately, off the charts. The videos out of the Azores killed it. I'm so happy to hear that you're liking that new film vlog blend style. I'm loving making them. It's so creatively fulfilling, but I also am stoked to do vlogs every now and then and really balance the two. I think that's a, that's where I found my inner peace in this new movement uh, on my YouTube channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I've got to say. Before I wrap it up entirely here, you got to check this out. Oh, ah, these are, sorry, this interview spot's really hard to film. And, but these are the brand new Driftline 3.0s. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to introduce these to you. It's hard to, it's hard to show off board shorts in such a little room that I have to sit in, but. The Driftline 3.0s are uh, the newest of the new, baby. They just launched today, literally today. You can be some of the first to get them. This is their newest colorway. It's called the Blue Slate, and it's probably my favorite they've ever released. I think it's like the sickest thing ever. If you guys don't know about the Driftlines, well, I need to tell you about them because they've got a half millimeter wetsuit liner in them that keeps you warmer, prevents you from chafing, and ultimately just adds comfort of like Cupid's cup. Feels like it just, just keeps your boys real happy, trust me. 
I know. As always, you can get them for 20% off in the description below with JL20. They're a massive supporter of me and they make this entire channel possible. And they're actually a product I really believe in and have worked with them on since pretty much the beginning of time. So I'll preach these guys to the end. And uh, yeah, you gotta go get yourself a pair. Link in the description. Launch number three is here, baby. Other than that, guys, I don't have too much to say. I mean, we, we left the Azores. It was one of the best trips of my life to now we're in Lisbon, Portugal, continuing the Sickos World Tour and adventuring all around this beautiful city. And uh, this vlog was just a first look at what it's really like over here. I thought it was super cool and interesting. I'm so happy to have Mia back. It's so rad that she's come to visit and join us. Um, and yeah, lots of good things to come. We're gonna go explore this coastline. We're gonna go see what waves are on offer, what wind we can find, and hopefully just keep the good vibes rolling. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Click that like button if you liked it. And uh, yeah, we make videos every single Friday. So without further ado, I'll see you next week.